Muchas gracias, Francet. Eh, pasamos a la última intervención de Ilaira Marsoli, eh, titulada Creando simbiosis para la fracción orgánica en áreas urbanas. Good afternoon and thanks uh, for inviting uh, us uh, as uh, a representative of Italy to this um, to this extremely interesting meeting. I mean, I've I got many ideas from our speaker who were speaking this morning. So um, I work for AMU, which is the waste management company of the city of Genova. Um, we uh, follow the whole, uh, we, we manage the whole um, waste cycle from the road sweeping to the landfill disposal. And uh, uh, while well, we are under the center of the municipality of Genova. Here's uh, Genova, uh, we are a sea town. As you see, we are squeezed between uh, the sea and the mountains. Uh, we have a big historical center, so, which looks uh, so much like uh, Sevilla, but it's all up and downs. Um, <coughs> we are uh, the sixth city in uh, Italy for inhabitants. And uh, well, uh, we have a, a high percentage of uh, elderly people, uh, which is uh, well interesting because it's like uh, we have real good weather. So <coughs> this could be one of the reasons um, and well, we have, as you see, um, not only the, the coastal part, but uh, also two valleys, which are extremely uh, dense with population. And therefore, our services for the city <laughs> are different. We have, of course, uh, collection centers. Of course, uh, I just um, don't uh, uh, take too much time talking about the road collection systems, which are like uh, our friends, Spanish friends, uh, uh, which was speaking before. Um, so we have four collection centers uh, and for uh, the rest of the city where they didn't, we didn't find uh, enough place to build one because uh, you need space to collect all those items. We have road services uh, which for, with uh, 40 uh, collection points uh, and uh, for um, like bulky waste and for uh, dangerous waste, uh, uh, 23 uh, places where at uh, scheduled uh, days and times of the day, uh, we stop with these vans to help citizens make uh, the right uh, separate collection. And we have uh, as well 43, um, we call them uh, Eco Punto, which are uh, small uh, locals at ground floor in the historical part of the city, so that we have no bins close to um, uh, churches or monuments. And so that uh, also um, we have uh, the chance to collect uh, paper and plastic, which w was uh, before uh, forbidden because it was too dangerous because of a fire. And so um, that's a way uh, we found to uh, give a, a differentiated collection also to the uh, historical part of the city. Um, oops, sorry. We have also the recycling factory, which is Flying away, okay. Well, it's uh, like a prevention, best practice of prevention. I will uh, talk about it uh, in, at the end of the presentation. As for organic fraction, we are actually not collecting uh, organic from all our citizens. Uh, this is because uh, we um, had a plant for um, a composting, uh, which was uh, unfortunately uh, damaged during the floods in 2010. And then we had uh, actually to close it in 2012 after floods again. And so now our organic waste, um, well, the organic fraction we collect, goes uh, outside of, uh, not only outside of the city, but outside of our region, because uh, we don't have uh, enough um, plants uh, in the region uh, to, um, to use uh, the organic fraction that we collect. And therefore, we are improving um, organic fraction collection, but slowly, because it has also to be economic. Otherwise, we uh, produce too many uh, CO2 to um, bring around our waste. Here, uh, there's uh, um, our uh, collection, um, differentiated collection uh, percentage. As uh, I said, we are the sixth biggest city in uh, Italy. And we are actually at the average, like uh, other big cities, 
And although we are like uh, improving recycling, we have found out uh, that with the system that we are using, we won't go any farther than uh, 40, 50 percent. Then uh, to start a really increase uh, uh, differentiate collection and uh, uh, especially as uh, uh, mm, many <laughs> speakers before me stressed, uh, we need the involvement of the people and how can we involve citizens and make them more responsible. Uh, the easiest way is to make them conscious about what they throw away, so giving them services which are um, more uh, um, connected to their like families, so giving personal bins uh, like door-to-door uh, uh, -door collection services, and uh, especially introducing the pay-as-you-throw system so that uh, before throwing away something into waste, you would think before if it has uh, a chance <coughs> to be uh, differentiated. And you like be more careful about informing, uh, getting information about on how to dispose uh, those things. So we have uh, these uh, challenges. We, um, with uh, uh, have you seen uh, a different, uh, a very difficult. Uh, um, a morphologic context. Then we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, elderly people uh, and they are extremely resistant to changes because uh, for them it's like, uh, even if it should be like more easy to have a small bin and to leave it in front of the door despite having a big bin far away from uh, their house, then uh, uh, still changing and a habit is always very difficult. And then uh, we have real radical position uh, towards collection approach because we have some citizens who would do the door-to-door -door system everywhere. So uh, as well in the city center, they're asking us to do that, but there's no place to put the beans outside of their doors. So um, we have really to, um, to talk a lot with people and try to convince them and uh, help them understand uh, which are the problems and which are uh, the best solution uh, for handling the, the problem. So our intervention strategy is, uh, uh, of course, to take care also to um, um, non-domestic users that we are serving, especially with organic fresh system, which are, of course, uh, restaurants, uh, bars, and grocers, markets. Then uh, we will introduce the door-to-door -door system in uh, eight uh, hill dist districts. I'll show you uh, in a while. And uh, also, uh, we have decided to involve uh, a national consortium um, to give uh, us help in introducing uh, different systems, which can be, of course, differentiated uh, because of the um, morphologic context. And uh, um, so we have signed an agreement uh, between uh, the municipality of Genova and the National Consortium of Recycling, which is helping us uh, um, dividing uh, the city in different areas, which uh, uh, well, we will have different colors and different systems on uh, uh, collection. And so we, we really want to do this change and we are not afraid to ask uh, for advice uh, outside of, the, of the, our city. So uh, what we found out, and as we stressed also by the um, Sevilla mayor, we need to uh, involve people because they're the critical uh, person, they make the difference. So as I said, organic fraction for non-domestic users, we, have, uh, we are uh, serving almost all of our uh, non-domestic users and by the end of the year we will cover the entire um, dealers and restaurants uh, who are uh, actually um, interested to the service. Um, but con watching data, we found out that there's like uh, good behaviors and bad behaviors and they're very um, distinct. Like all restaurants are like bad users, while uh, all the green grocers are the best ones. So we have started involving um, consumers association, who are real uh, a good uh, um, targeted um, group of people, who will help us going door to door and visit uh, restaurants uh, to tell them on, well, to ask if there's any problem, and then uh, to uh, help them um, do the correct uh, uh, differentiation and also to show them that uh, we're not like uh, watching just to give them fines, but it's not, uh, so it's not like the company or the municipality going there like uh, um, a stranger or someone who's just uh, controlling, but uh, it's like uh, people who wants to understand where, where's the critical point and uh, actually help them. 
As for the hill districts, we uh, kind of used the, the same approach. I mean, we did many, many uh, meetings with the uh, associations and also uh, we went also door to door and uh, involved the, the um, apartment blocks administrators to, um, to involve them in the whole process. So uh, still before uh, we told them we wanted to change the way of uh, collecting um, garbage in their area and we wanted them to help us find the best solution and so uh, it was uh, then uh, easier to, uh, to tell them that um, a door-to-door -door system with no beans uh, uh, on the road but the personal beans which could uh, in the end get to the pay-as-you-throw system uh, could be extremely useful and we actually selected as you see in the map um, the um, highest hill districts where it, it's really <coughs> difficult to send trucks to uh, <coughs> empty the, the beans, the, bi the big ones. And, and then we, are, um, we have decided to uh, focus on them because they're uh, not uh, um, districts where you go through. I mean, they're real uphills. There's only uh, one road going up and then going down. So there's a high uh, social control, and in, it's a place where it can actually uh, work, a system like this one. And moreover, as you see from the picture, it's, uh, um, these are all districts which were built around in the 80s, and so there's like a different approach in building blocks. They're not too high, there's not too many families, and there's a space in front of the houses where people can actually walk and put their beans. <laughs> While in the historical center, we are all packed one on top of the other, and it's like uh, real, real narrow. So this is the, uh, the plan I was uh, talking about in the beginning, uh, in which uh, we involved uh, the um, National consortium, consortium of uh, um, collection, packaging collection. And as you see, we will, uh, well, it's not yet done. It will be at the end of this month. And we will have the city uh, divided in uh, uh, different colors. And like uh, the red color is the most difficult area where we can't do door-to-door -door, uh, collection. Still, uh, the, the aim of this plan is to um, end in uh, having the, the whole city uh, with services uh, which can be um, tied to pay as you throw system so that uh, everyone will actually be more responsible of what he does at home. Because we are not as good as our uh, like uh, northern neighbors, um, where uh, actually people does uh, differentiate collection uh, as soon as they find a system to do it. Because garbage bin should be extremely useful in this way, because you have no times for uh, putting out the beans, but still they doesn't seem to work. As for prevention, we are actually uh, we founded um, a network, Liguria Circular where we have uh, um, 200 associates uh, who help us uh, with workshop or meetings to find out um, problems and solutions and as well projects which may be interesting for uh, prevention. Our main problem is uh, uh, legislative because um, we can uh, start extremely interesting and uh, social, socially interesting, oh yeah, I'll be very quick, um, initiatives, but still um, then we have to stop. As for a quick example, we have put a composting um, machine in a cooking school, which has more than 250 students, uh, thanks to a European project. They're using it and they're making compost. <coughs> then, because of the regional law, uh, they can't share this compost with, uh, um, with another school, which is nearby, and it's mad. I mean, uh, they could close the loop. They could have uh, uh, another uh, school to work with, and they can't because it's considered waste because of a regional local law. And so this drives us mad because we can't uh, um, take things out of the waste cycle. I know, as uh, people said before, we, shouldn't, we should prevent waste, but then for um, companies like ours, which has to handle with waste, it's like uh, King Midas and the opposite. Everything we touch is waste, becomes waste, and then what? We can't take it out of the waste cycle and so it's a, a real loss of uh, uh, raw materials. So thanks a lot. Here's a long quote you can have time to read afterwards. And gracias.
Bien, pues con esto damos por finalizada la sesión cuarta.